For those of you Tandy Radio Shack lovers, here we have a Tandy 1000 HX. It's an 8086 processor with 256 kilobytes of memory, a 3.5 inch 720k floppy drive, which makes it one of the latest models, one of the last of these to be built, a color monitor, this is a CGA monitor. You can't really see in this uh, particular camera, but the text is purple. That's due to a cable that's been defective since day one, and we never actually got it fixed. But that's about to change. I'm going to hack the cable off of this monitor, which is an old CGA monitor, another CM5, and hopefully get this problem fixed. The cable is the issue, of course. We also have all of the original software. Of course, none of it works. We have the uh, diskette drive protection blank for transportation. And the original sales receipt with attached one-year extended warranty. My father purchased this machine when I was just five years old. He bought it 3.20 of 90 at 3.02 p.m. He must have left work early because, um, if I'm not mistaken, he worked until 5 back then. But anyway, um, it came from the Radio Shack located in the Nashua Mall which has been demolished and rebuilt elsewhere on the site since then. And this is what he bought. The CM5 color monitor for $299.95. A Tandy 1000 HX for $299. The monitor cost more than the PC. <laughs> Copy of Speller B, which was educational uh, spelling and writing software for me, for $34.95. Three and a half inch diskettes, a package of three for six seventy nine, a six outlet surge protector for twenty nine ninety six. He also bought the extended one year warranty for twenty two fifty. And oh actually he bought two of them, one for the monitor, one for the PC. And the PC was twenty nine twenty five. He paid for it with a credit card. And this is back when they printed the account numbers on the sales slips. The account number was M77381603767735. Expires. No, it doesn't say. Total account, total number was, the total price was 72239. It's okay because this account has been closed for 20 years, so. <laughs> not worried about anyone knowing it. Um, besides, it's not mine anyway, so what do I care? Uh, only kidding. So, got the extended warranty here. I'm, it's long expired. Here it is. Now, it has DOS 211 and ROM, so I'm going to show you what that's like. Turn it off. Instantly boots. This is the fastest piece of equipment I own as far as startup time. It's faster than my goddamn calculator. This thing is quick. Just don't do anything else with it and you're okay. That was a joke. So, let's see what it does. Now, as I said, none of this software works except for one exception. Actually, one and a half. <laughs> the original Deskmate disk, I can see the directory, but I can't launch anything. Um, nothing will start up. It, it, it gives me disk errors. And the, yeah, that's the, that's the closest thing to functional I could find here. And the reason is, because all this software was sitting in our, my parents' damp basement for about three years. So, as we all know, magnetic media dies when it gets moist. And that is a sad, sad truth. Because, if you look on that bookshelf, there's a whole bin of floppy disks. 75% of what was originally in there also went bad. And some of my CDs started to decompose. That's right, they're not waterproof. But this computer didn't see any damage at all. Imagine that. So here we go. I'm going to launch one of my favorite games from when I was five. It just seems weird saying that, but it's true. 
called uh, Niet, which is a Tetris clone. This disc was given to my parents by one of their friends who actually owned a computer back then. In the late 1980s, early 90s, it wasn't common to see a computer in every household like you would today. Uh, we were actually the first people in our entire street to have a computer, even though it wasn't very functional even then. It was obsolete when we bought it, besides the point. But nobody owned computers. In fact, in my kindergarten and first grade class, nobody owned a computer except me. Granted, no one in my family or myself knew how to use it. So here we go. Now, consequently, because no one knew how to use this stupid thing, it never got used. Um, I have to say, this machine couldn't have any more than 10 hours of, uh, of use total. Power on time. I mean, this thing was never used. Now, to start NET, you simply type NET. NET, 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 NET. I believe this game was found on a bulletin board. Remember those? Okay, here's a problem. If you notice, the screen was blank. The, the, the play screen was blank for a second. Because one of the colors isn't showing up. Because my cable's damaged, I can only see uh, red and green. No, blue and red. The green gun isn't firing. So, unfortunately, that's why the color is all screwed up. Enter my name, Brandon. Now the sad part is, because we used this software 20 years ago, it had a lot of our names and friends and stuff um, in the uh, high scores list. Namely, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. Some of the people that were in the high scores list on this disc are no longer alive. It's kind of sad. but um, Also, the Deskmate uh, disc had a drawing that I made the day after we picked this computer up from Radio Shack, and it had been there ever since because we didn't know how to delete it. Mind, I didn't know how to use it. I didn't learn DOS until I was about 12 years old uh, when I actually started getting an interest in computers. And so this computer sat for five, almost uh, six years before it actually got any use. And I only used it briefly, maybe for a couple of months, and then it went back into the closet. So, in fact, that's where it's been here since I moved in. So, really, I guess the only other thing I have to say is, well, maybe I'll show you the machine close up. I guess go ahead and unplug this monitor. Now, we never bought a printer for it. We never bought any software other than what you see in this pile. And uh, we never upgraded the memory. So this is where it goes. This little top cover slips out. There's some limited expansion here. There's three removable blanks in the back. Um, they're proprietary, I believe. I'm not really sure what would go into this riser slot. Um, they never made a hard disk version of this machine, so there was no Tandy 1000 HD or anything like that. It does have a composite video output jack, a proprietary Tandy external drive and printer. I have the cable for this. I found one um, just recently. It has on this side two joystick ports, sound out or headphone, volume, this controls the system volume, so it'll actually control the loudness of the startup beat. On this side we have a power switch, and that's about it. It does have a cooling fan, which is unusual for its small size and lack of capabilities. And that's really it. It has a proprietary keyboard layout that you won't see anywhere else, and a 720K double-sided floppy drive. But, whether this machine works or not, I will always keep it as it was my first computer, and I can never replace it. Not that that matters, but I'd like it to go to my great-great-great-great-grandkids. Only kidding. But, I've had this long... This is the longest I've ever owned any single object. 
um, for the most part. Yeah, I'd have to say this is the <laughs> the only thing I have that I've had for this long. I guess that doesn't make any sense, but you get the idea. And this monitor, again, I picked it from the trash just a couple months ago, and it shows some unusual video problems, which I'm going to probably be able to rescue this one <clears throat> by taking the cable off. Until then, if I fix the problem, I'll do another video. Sound good to me? Sound good to you? Alright, until then.